All right, so I've been doing um, some of the temple trekking, and I'm not entirely sure like what the best strategies are or anything like that, but I've just been spamming easy ones, and from what I can tell, that seems to be the best method. Um, so we do have the lumberjack legs, which probably do not want to put them in this tab, and then we have the top, so we're just trying to get the boots and the hat, and then we're good. And then I've also collected some nail beast, which, where in the hell did I put them? Here, yes. Um, and these are used for Santa Cruz serums. And then um, I've also gotten a good chunk of steel bars. Um, if you look at my bank, let me actually get one more just in case. So we've got about 1,200 or so. I'm not entirely sure either, uh, what the best thing to do is. I know a lot of people do bowstrings, but I'm not really. Um, I don't really need bowstrings. I have a decent amount myself. And um, if you look at my logs, I mean, I could make some of these into bows, but it's really only for money. That's the only thing that it like benefits, so I don't really do a whole lot of that. So I don't really care about bowstring. Um, so I'm using the bigger ones on silver bars since it gives you 150. Um, I've been I, I tried using some of the little the blue ones on silver bars, and it gives you like five or something like that. So I'm just gonna do experience tomes for like the the uh, blue ones, and then if I ever do like a hard one, which I do I do them occasionally, um, I'll I'll get silver bars. So. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna gain a bunch of random, like, <laughs> like, get a bunch of random experience from doing this, and I honestly don't mind it at all, because, um, it, all of the skills it gives experience in, like, I, I don't, I, 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 I don't want to train. Um, the only one that, like, I would, would don't mind training is Slayer. Um, it gives you, like, thieving, it gives you agility, mining, fishing, fire making, which is a good one for me, because that's what my master clue requires, so... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing this until we get full lumberjack, and I guess I'll show you um, if we get anything interesting. Yes, so that is the full lumberjack uh, done with these boots. I have the helmet, or I guess the hat, in the bank. So yeah, I actually called it too first kill, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, yeah, it did not take too long at all. It wasn't uh, too much of a grind. I kind of feel bad for anybody who um, did this before this update. Um, RuneScape always talks about how they they don't de like they don't like to devalue things, um, so they always like whine about like RuneCrafting for example. RuneCrafting is probably the biggest example. They won't change, they won't do anything to RuneCrafting because everybody will whine about it devaluing them. But something like this, they super devalued um, because it was a pain in the ass before. Not that I ever did it, but mostly because it was a pain in the ass and wasn't worth it. So um, yeah, I feel bad for anybody who did it legit, but uh, I don't I don't mind. Alright, so let me finish this up, and then I'll use up what I have. I don't think it's really worth showing, to be honest with you. In fact, I won't. So, be, I'll be back with another clip. So, one thing I forgot to do after doing Monkey Madness was talk to this dude, who is supposed to give me experience in one of these stats. I'm gonna get ranged. Um, hit points will be nice, too, but I feel like I'd rather have range. Range is more important. And since I don't really plan on doing a whole lot of Hunter for Chinchampas, and I don't have a blowpipe, <laughs> um, yeah, range isn't very good. So, yeah, using both of those in range. And then there's also one more reward I believe you can claim after the quest, so we'll go check that out. I think it's if you search this crate, you find a little guy, uh, you put him on your back. That's so cute. Let me zoom in. So, yeah, now we got a little monkey pet just chilling. Since I'm about to get ranger boots, I figured I'd record. Oh, <laughs> I was hoping that would work. What a weird clue scroll. 21 sweet, 7k cash? I mean, I've seen people get like 11k and 10k, so that's nothing, you know, fancy. It's just kind of a weird clue. But, uh, you know, the value is actually not bad, 65k. Oh, right, so as we cut some of these sapphires. And I should do it. 82 crafting. Do we unlock anything? We can make onyx necklaces. You know, that's... That's pretty cool right there. Black Dragon had chaps too. Not bad. Um, three levels. Three levels and we have ourselves a Fury. I think it's time we get our Fury. Um, I mean, most Iron Men have it like way earlier than me. I was kind of chill with it. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going out there, but thanks for the heads up. <laughs> so, yeah, it's about time I got a Fury. So, what I'm going to do is grind out some Green Dragons. Um... I'm going to do green dragons, and then every single day I'll buy my battle staffs. got about another 5 mil worth of battle staffs I can buy. And um, we should be able to get it, I'm hoping, within, in the next two days. I don't know exactly how long it's going to take. I did some math, and I think I'm going to need, like, um, like 14,000 green dragon hides. 
and obviously I can't kill that many green dragons. Um, but I'm hoping with sort of the combination of all three that maybe it'll be a little bit quicker. I don't know. Um, we're going to see how it goes. Um, one of the good things about doing the green dragon goal is we, uh, we're going to get the bones, which is going to help out for prayer, and then clue scrolls, which will be pretty interesting. Um, there are new loots that I actually want. Um, being the, the slippers, like the, the boots, the, the Gothic's DI boots, because I believe those are better than snakeskin. So that'll be a nice little upgrade. So yeah, I will resume with the first clip, unless I come up with anything better to do. Alright, so we have clue one from the dragons. Let's open it up, and wow. There was another clue. Not, <laughs> not getting very lucky with these damn clues. And we got... Shit. Alright, so we just gotta burn one more. I'm finally done with the fire making grind. I don't think I'm ever gonna do fire making ever again for the rest of my life. Uh, unless, of course, I get the um, the higher one, the higher requirement. Uh, yeah, that took that took way too long. But uh, if you don't remember, we have a master clue that is create a set of fire remains, and you need 80 for it. So we have to boost up now, and yeah. We should be able to get this first step of a mask glue done. Alright, we got it. Got the boost. Just a little bit of lag. See, I'm definitely glad I, <laughs> I re-log. <'cause laughs> the second I start recording, I land balls. Alright, um... I think you do this. Then you do this. You see a little nomad <laughs> project <-y> thing? <laughs> I really hope I'm being recorded right now. <laughs> Although this isn't, like, the best clip. There we go. Yeah, and that was also an elite task for Mortania, so... Awesome. 3,500 coins. Not bad. Alright. Read my life. Let's be able to do voices from Maine. Oh, dig in front of the icy area where, uh, I'm assuming that's Yad Wars, where one of the four was fought. That seems like something I could do. Let's look it up. Alright, we got it. Uh, first step. Cool. Okay, dig in front of the four. I'm assuming that's gotta be Yad Wars. So what's the shush? Let me look that up now. Second part. Noise. Alright, we got it. Got the penis looking one. Respect. That really does look like a deal, though. <laughs> I think I'm more mature than that, but it really does. Alright, Maul in Tau. Let me figure out what this is at. Alright, we got ourselves a light box. Um, is this, the, this is the light box, yeah. From what I've seen, you just spam, and it randomly works. So we're just gonna spam. I should probably go slower. Oh, does it? Yeah, so just spam click the shit out of it. Just smash it. <laughs> oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so that's true. I kind of should have, like, rethought about that, because it just feels kind of cheating. <laughs> Alright, another clue. Ooh. Ooh. Alright. Okay, so I just looked all three of these up, and I believe I can do all of them. The middle one requires a hundred, um, it requires a hundred, what's it called? Um, magic bonus. But I'm pretty sure we can do that. Let me get, like, what we got out. Yeah, we can do that easily. So, yeah, we can do all three of these. Let's, uh, get started. Okay, got it? Penis looking one? Alright, so, um, if it's not now, then I don't know. Okay, it was there. Okay, cool. So there's the next step. And then the last one's super easy. All right, cool pieces. Throw them all together, and next step. Oh, that hurts. It hurts really bad. It hurts my soul. It hurts. <laughs> you know what? That's like a really cool drop. I'm not even salty. Um, I believe the drop rate on a Dragon 2 Ender is 1 in 128, and the Dragon Pickaxe is 1 in 256. So it's not the same rarity. Um, and the fact that I got the clue, like an Elite Clue Scroll and the D2 Agent, the same kill at 14 kill count, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty pumped up. But as you can see, I am doing Chaos and Mental. I am actually going to attempt to get the Dragon Pickaxe. I don't really like goals that are based off of RNG because, you know, who knows how long it's going to take. But doing Chaos Mental, it's not really that bad. It does take a while, but I don't mind doing it. So I think what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set myself sort of a goal. I'm gonna do 250 kill count at Chaos Elemental, and if we get the drop, we get the drop. If we don't, we don't. Um, and then from that point on, I'm going to probably do Barrows because we only need a Varix Brasser to do um, to have full Varix. 
And um, I could drop the clue, the master clue we have in our bank, but I feel like if we got a new master clue, um, the requirements are probably going to be something we can't do. Um, and we've already done like five steps on it, and the dragon pickaxe is really not that hard. Like if I got the bandos god sword requirement, it's, it's dropped immediately because there's no way that's happening. So I'm just going to keep the master clue scroll, and um, yeah, I guess we'll do this elite. Um, there's only like two or three clues I can't do for the elite. It's the dragon spear one and then the seer coal. So as long as we don't get those, we'll be fine. Got the loot. Boom. You know, I really don't like mind that because most hard, most elite clue scrolls are aids anyways. At least I got some summer pies and some teak planks and a dragonstone necklace that isn't this, doesn't this actually have good teleports? I think it teleports you to like some yeah, it has some pretty decent teleports, so that's not bad. All right, so this is going to be a pretty cool milestone right here. This will be 85 farming. Awesome. So do we unlock anything at that? Torstals. Okay, cool. I didn't even know I couldn't grow torstals. So, um, yeah, cool beans. Uh, farming is one of my favorite skills in this game. It's just super chill. You do it like once a week. I mean, that's kind of that's really how I do it. If you were to be fast about it and smart about it, you'd probably do it like once a day or do multiple trips. But I just do it like once every two or three days whenever I remember to. And um, yeah, I'm already 85, so you can see kind of how good it is. Um, I really need to start doing Zolra because Zolra drops, uh, what are they called? Uh, coconuts. And uh, with all those coconuts, I can plant some of my magic trees. I actually have like 12 magic trees in the bank, but I don't really want to risk them, like, you know, diseasing. So, uh, yeah. But uh, eventually, yeah, I'd like to get 99 farming at one point. That is one of my goals. Sorry about the background sounds, but uh, yeah, we just got a warrior ring. That's fucking fun. Yeah, that just fucking happened. Dragon spear from a cyclops. Um, okay, so I didn't want to record it because it's kind of embarrassing, but I was doing Chaos Elemental and I lost my Dragon Defender because I wasn't presenting an item like a retard. So I came back here, I got the Dragon Defender, and like two kills later, I just got my first fucking Dragon Sphere. So if we ever get that clue scroll, we're done. That's really cool because that's like, I'm pretty sure that's the exact same rarity as the left half. So a little bit of salt, but uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Yes! Yes! We got ourselves a Guthans War Spear. We are so dry, or, or we're so dry. Um, I looked back at my last recording, and my last loot was at 162. So, what is that? 64 dry? Um, awesome, though. It's the best possible... I guess not the best possible item, because honestly, a brass would be better. But it's the most valuable item, so I guess the weight was worth it. That is awesome. That's so cool. I'm so glad we're finally done. 64 dry. That's way too long to be dry. This is one of the, the type of things where you really don't want to be dry. Um, you just sort of lose all motivation. But I was just uh, watching uh, Misfits. If anybody's ever seen that on Hulu. It's a good show. And uh, I was like, you know what? Let's just stay till we get a loot. We're so dry at this point. It doesn't even matter anymore. And we got one. We got a good one. So that is my second Guthans piece. If, you're, if you were wondering, we do have the... Um, the body as well so yeah not bad at all that is awesome